Hey guys, welcome to this overtyping our setting guide and here I will detail how to use the overtyping and everything you need to know about the overtyping. So the iPhone overtyping is a new feature added to iPhone to allow you to see a bigger or a larger text when you are typing into the text feed on your iPhone. So if you have the overtyping enabled on your iPhone, it's going to allow you to see a bigger version of the text you are typing. So like this. So let's say you just want to type a message. Once you start typing the message, then you see another box comes up over it, inlined, docked, or at the top of the message, just like this. So this is called the overtyping. So the overtyping is an extended version of the text feed that allows you to see the text box or the text you're typing in a larger text format. So this is an additional feature from Apple on the new iOS 18. So first, let me show you how to turn on overtyping. To turn on overtyping on your iPhone, all you just need to do is go to your iPhone settings. On the settings page, you want to scroll down. Just keep scrolling until you go to accessibility and click on that. Then once you selected accessibility, scroll down the page until you get to keyboards and typing under accessories. Then once you selected that, come here and click on over typing. Then if this is disabled in your own case, go ahead and then enable this. Now you can just come down to text, change the display mode. So if the over typing display mode is set to top, then if you come here and then start typing, then you're going to see the over typing at the top. So if it's set to inline as well as dock, then you're going to see the over typing inline or dock to your keyboard. Just like this. So it's going to show a bigger or larger text of whatever you're typing on your phone. Then after that, you can change the over typing font, click on font, and then select either of the system fonts as your over typing font. So you can use all these fonts for free. So they are for over typing that's still recording this video. So each font you select reflects on the over typing. Then you can also come back here and change the over typing text color, insertion point color, background color, and then the border color. So I can just click on text color here and then select the color you want to set as your text color on over typing. Once selected, hit the back button, then go ahead and then type it. You can see the color like this. You can also change the background. Let's say the background color is, let's say, let's say this to white. Then once you type in, then you should see the over typing background color set to white. So you can customize the over typing using the settings available on the over typing page to suit your need. You can also check misspelled color. So if your word is misspelled, then the over typing is going to highlight it for you in the color you selected here. So let's say you want to use over typing. And what you want to do is you want to send good morning. You see that? Then instead of having it normal like this, then the over typing is going to highlight that there is a mistake in the spelling. So this is based on the text or color you selected while setting the over typing color like this. Then auto correct word color as well. You can also set that. And once that is set, then you're good to go. Now to easily have access to the over typing iOS 18, all you just need to do is run control center and then add the over typing to your control center. To do this, just press the control center like this. Click on add the control and then search for over typing. So click on that and then that's going to be added to the control center on your iPhone now as 18. So that's all you need to know about overtyping iOS 18. So if you found this often informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe.